Hello teacher friends, today I'm joining you from the beautiful Ghana country. This video brings to you an exciting announcement. We've been running professional learning programs at the CESA Group since 2016. We've built a suite of courses and seen over 47,000 educators enroll in them. Now tech moves fast and a lot has changed since we first launched those courses. So we're thrilled to announce one of our favorite courses, our Digital Technologies Extended course for the primary years has undergone a significant update and has been relaunched. It has a new name, Digital Technologies Plus X, new content, new resources, new links to version nine of the Australian curriculum and new learning activities. Stick around to the end because I'll show you a sneak peek of some sustainability activities from the course and instructions on how to get started. DT plus X is about integrating digital technologies with another subject area or passion topic, creating exciting multidisciplinary learning experiences. Computer scientists often work in multidisciplinary teams, helping to create solutions and solve problems for all kinds of areas. And so this course supports you to think about ways of engaging students by combining DT with different contexts. The Girls in STEM principles for gender inclusive learning environments developed by ESA, also says to design learning experiences that embrace context and problem solving and that align to students' interests. So this is an evidence-based approach. You could have digital technologies and food, digital technologies and fashion, or digital technologies and sport. X can be whatever subject or topic you want it to be. Let us know what your X is. If you were to combine digital tech with anything, what would it be? Or if you're connecting digital technologies in your classroom, how are you going about that? Let us know and comment below. As a starting point to get you thinking about connecting curriculum, we've covered DT and maths, DT and English, and our new module, DT and sustainability. With the modules, we've got some exciting topics like sustainability with biodiversity tracking, smart cities, food waste and footprints, We've got maths, which includes data literacy, digital artwork, robotics and mapping, and digital technologies and, and English, which includes languages, storytelling and digital literacy. Our course unpacks core concepts and the cross-curriculum priorities in Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander histories and cultures, Australia's engagement with Asia and sustainability from the Australian curriculum as ways for embracing authentic problem solving and context for teaching and learning. The UNESCO 17 Sustainable Development Goals also form a context for finding rich learning activities for your classroom and we've embraced these across our course. UNESCO identified 17 Sustainable Development Goals, which are global challenges and opportunities for humanity to solve. Many of the solutions will require knowledge and skills in science, technology and engineering and maths as well as fundamental skills like problem solving, collaboration and communication. The GIST principles for gender inclusive learning environments recommends everyone gets hands on. There are so many exciting and active ways to engage students in learning about sustainability within the digital technologies area. We've got you covered from coding to sensors to immersive technologies and more. Let's have a sneak peek at some of the sustainability learning activities. Technological advancements have made biodiversity tracking much easier and more scalable than ever before by transforming our ability to keep tabs on plants, animals and land. Historically, we would use manual observation methods, um, but now today we're using drones, satellite imagery, remote sensing technologies, enabling real time insights into habitats and species and for global sharing of information. Students can engage in citizen science projects by helping scientists collect real data or simulating experiences for the younger years. Apps like iSpy Koala, Frog ID and iNaturalist are some pretty amazing ones that you can use. Students can use VR and AR to explore ecosystems and environments. For example, the World Wildlife Fund has some really excellent examples. In one of our learning examples, students learn about how First Nations Australians have developed complex biodiversity tracking techniques and knowledges over millennia, and then use the BeeBot to match animal tracks with animal cards. AI is increasingly being used to monitor wildlife 24-7 and to help humans more efficiently sort through all the data. 
To learn about this, students can use the Teachable Machine to build a simulated AI model that identifies an endangered species and compares it to a feral animal in the area causing trouble. Students train the AI model using images found online and then train it to identify when it sees their endangered species. Over 8 billion people live on Earth, with around 56% of the world's population living in cities. Technology is driving the design and redesign of our future cities fusing technology and urban living, creating efficient, sustainable, safer and connected communities, while also reducing our human impact and improving services to people. Robotics are an excellent way for students of different ages to explore the topic of smart cities, developing algorithms for robots that drive autonomously around their imagined and sustainable cities. Students can also explore the technology driving the redesign of smart cities and sustainable products like using temperature and light sensors with something like microbits. We have an activity example where students learn about sustainable housing and design their own using microbits. Students could take their designs into the virtual world and use 3D design tools like co-spaces to de develop ideas and creations. Food waste and footprints are a context that allows students the opportunity to collect data on waste generation at their school and in their local community. Food waste is not just food that goes into the bin in our school or in our home, it's also discarded from many parts of our food supply chain, including farms, processing and transport, hospitality and restaurants, as well as supermarkets. Food and waste footprints are a context that allows students the opportunity to collect data on waste generation at their school and in their local community. One example activity we have in the course is that working in small groups, students are tasked with developing a plan to address one element of waste production in their community using tech. For example, designing an app, developing a game, or producing an education campaign. Students can use survey tools and spreadsheets to collect and analyze data and map data on Google Maps. They could also harness tools like virtual reality and augmented reality to come up with different experiences. Now I've highlighted some example activities, but there's more information in our course with mappings to the Australian curriculum. We love to hear activities that you are doing with your students to investigate sustainability. Connect with us on socials or share your activities in the course community as part of your completion. We partnered with Refraction Media, who are careers with STEM content specialists. Their expertise is finding talent and writing up engaging articles about people working in some pretty awesome careers. They developed for our digital technologies courses a pretty awesome job kit guide that you can download from our course and use it with your students. It includes fascinating cases connecting different fields with career profiles and classroom activities. They also helped us locate case study examples and professionals working across different areas using STEM skills and digital technologies that align to all of our course modules to help you bring real world examples into the classroom that connect to learning content. The GIST Gender Inclusive Principles emphasizes the importance of role models for engaging students in STEM. If students can't see the job, they don't know about it. Help them see how and what they're learning in the classroom connects with real careers and impact. Here we have some examples from our sustainability module. From our Smart City sub-module, we have some sustainability superstars, such as Yolande Strengers, who's at Monash University. Yolande Strengers from Monash University is a digital sociologist and ethics human computer interaction professor investigating the sustainability and inclusion impacts of digital tech and smart technologies, including AI. Joseph Sinclair developed the Sprout app to help people swap food in communities and reduce food waste. He says Sprout makes accessing food easy and affordable. Through the app, someone can be connected with hundreds of people looking to sell their excess fresh produce at an affordable price, even for free. Chantel is the Narara Women Ranger Coordinator for the Kimberley Land Council. Her job includes fire management, plant and animal surveying and teaching traditional languages. A big part of her work is mixing traditional knowledge with Western science to take care of 77,000 square kilometres of country. This includes everything from feral animal management to protecting biodiversity. Indigenous rangers like Chantel harness technology and apps to help in tracking, monitoring and management with First Nations knowledges that are over 65,000 years old. That's incredible. 
Now these are just some of the examples from our sustainability module. There's still so much more to explore in the maths and English modules. We hope you feel inspired and that these examples of cross-curriculum connections are a springboard for the connections that you and your students will make within your own local contexts. To get started, simply register for the course, scan the QR code on the screen or navigate to the link on the screen. When you've finished our course, you will receive a certificate of completion that you can put towards your professional learning hours. We've estimated five hours for this course. Thanks for joining me today and we'll see you in the course community. If you would like to see more courses and professional learning videos like this, hit like and subscribe to our channel for updates.